to Weekly News Roundup. I'm Molly Breen. And I'm Jenna McCarthy. So, we were gone for a couple weeks. Shit happens. Life happens. We had took a little bit of a hiatus. Yeah. And then there was fall break. But now we're back! We're back. Forever. To tell you all the exciting news that happened this week. Yeah, yeah. So, to start off, there was a little bit of a scandal involving not only a former governor of New Jersey, but a former member of our faculty. John Corzine resigned from his firm MF Global because there was $633 million unaccounted for of clients' money. So, Sucks. not so good for him. <laughs> Sucks to be John Corzine. I guess we'll see what happens on that front. Anyway. Oh. All right, coming back. I guess This is going to air on Friday, right? Okay, this is airing on Friday. So today... Today! Today is the return of Ob, the orange and black ball. Yeah. After a 40-plus year hiatus... We are having another sort of campus-wide, all-years-involved formal event. It's exciting. Very exciting. And it's happening on 11-11-11 at 11 p.m. So make sure you set your phone clock so you can make the biggest wish ever. It is 11-11-11 is Pocky Day in Japan also. Happy Pocky Day. Happy Pocky Day. Um, Other, I mean, I, I have to admit that I was like a huge naysayer about Ob. I think Ob is going to be fun. Out, but I think it'll be fun, too. We also have Super Mash Brothers. Apparently, there's going to be good food involved. Seems like they're really pulling out all the stops. So. You grind up on that person you couldn't during OA. Yeah. It's like the OA dance take two for take people who two. didn't go on OA. <laughs> anyway, so anyway. Cannon Club will be opening up Whoa. early this Saturday. Hey. But in order to get to their really exciting party, as they've told in the email to... They were going to have 12 taps running at once. and But you need to have already submitted an application, which is non-binding, to get into the party. Yeah. So that means you can't just show up at the door. Can't just roll up. But it should be interesting to see what happens there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know someone who will remain unnamed who went into Canon the other day because the door was open, and according to her, it looks like the shit. So. Apparently they have a lot of kegs. A lot of kegs. You're in the shot, Quitaker. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Hazards. <laughs> Hazards. So Tuesday was election day. You want to update everyone about what happened here in Princeton? Well, Yina. Moore. <laughs> Class of 79. Yina Moore. <laughs> oh, God. Yina Moore, class of... <laughs> We're gonna keep this, it's fine. It is fine. Yina Moore, class... I'm just gonna look ignorant. Yina Moore, class of 1979, was elected mayor. It was a very close election, actually. Very close. And her um, name is pronounced Yina, not Yina, believe it or not. Yina is a Democrat, and I believe the Democrats also retain their majority in the New Jersey Senate and House, and the consolidation measure also passed. So, in 2013, Princeton will be a municipality! Not just a borough and a township. Mm -hmm. No word yet on what will happen to taxes. But, who gives up? We'll already be graduating. We'll be graduating. I'm good all. Okay. Andrew Blumenfeld is currently... <laughs> 12 votes behind the incumbent in his race for the La Cañada School Board. Yes. Andrew, on campus, is an active member of Students for Education Reform, and he ran on an education reform platform. So, best of luck to Andrew. Best of luck to Andrew. And congrats to all who won elections. Yeah. All right. I guess that about wraps it up. Thanks for tuning in, and We're a little hopefully rusty. we won't have another hiatus. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Thank <laughs> <laughs> you.